All right, let's talk USC Trojans football. Obviously, this team is looking phenomenal, certainly on offense with Lincoln Riley. And, of course, Caleb Williams behind center. He's been off to an incredible start to the season. This is one of the top contenders, obviously went to win the national title this season. But we've got an interesting report that highlights it may not be all or nothing for 2023. There's a chance they could there could be a potential running it back in 2024 as well. And I think Trojan fans will be really excited by this report. Yeah, Nick, I think this report that you found is very interesting. There's a lot that's going into play here, but I think Trojan fans, you might get your wish because I think things could potentially play out on the way that this story is talking about. But Nick, talking about playing out, we're talking about playing next week versus Stanford. You know, a big kind of sort of rivalry game. I don't think they're kind of as up to snuff as they used to be, but Southern Gal fans, you got to let us know in the comment section below. What will the score for Stanford versus USC be? Let us know in the comment section below. What are the Trojans going to do? How many points are they going to score? Will Caleb Williams throw for 17 touchdowns? We got to know in the comment section below. But Nick, let's get on into it. Speaking of the man, what's going on with Caleb Williams? Yeah, so right now, of course, everyone who is following Caleb Williams, the guy looks like one of the top quarterback prospects since probably Trevor Lawrence, maybe Andrew Luck. Like he looks that level of prospect. Everyone expect Williams to leave for the NFL draft at the conclusion of the 2023 season with USC and then be the number one overall pick. May not be the case, though, based on some news reported by, of all places, GQ with their interview with Caleb Williams and his father, Mize. If you want to throw up the report again from GQ with some sports news, got to love that. And I'll read from it. All right. From the report, his father, Carl, puts a finer point on it, talking about Caleb Williams in the draft process. The funky thing about the NFL draft process is he'd almost be better off not being drafted than being drafted first. The system is completely backwards, he says. The way the system is constructed, you go to the worst possible situation, the worst possible team, the worst organization in the league because of their desire for parity gets the first pick so it's the gift and the curse i mean i've talked to archie manning his career was shot because he went to a horrible organization i've talked to lincoln riley and kyler murray struggled because of where he was drafted baker mayfield struggled mightily because of where he was drafted the organizations matter and there's a breaking case of emergency option that carl is keeping in mind he's got two shots at the apple he says talking about caleb williams so if there's not a good situation the truth is he can come back to school that is the big part there can you imagine a universe where Caleb Williams returns for a senior season for USC? I think there's actually a better than 0% chance because the team most likely to have the number one overall pick in the 2024 NFL draft is the Arizona Cardinals where Kyler Murray plays. Obviously, connection to Lincoln Riley. Obviously, a little connection there with Caleb Williams. It's brought up in this report as well. I could see that Caleb Williams looks at this situation and does like an Eli Manning and says, nah, I don't want to do that. And in that situation... Why wouldn't Caleb Williams return back to USC? Maybe go after another national title, maybe another Heisman Trophy. Kind of an interesting deal here. And this is a guy in Williams who doesn't seem against that idea. There's been some rumors before this report that that was a potential option on the table as well. Miles, I think this is really interesting stuff here. If Caleb Williams does return for a senior season at USC, I don't see any reason why the USC Trojans can't go on a potential, you know, Pete Carroll early 2000s run here if you look at him behind quarterback because he's just so much better than everybody else right now. But what are your thoughts on this report and just the potential opportunities here, both for Caleb Williams and for the USC Trojans? Yeah, Nick, first of all, those uh, 2024 QB class guys coming out in that draft, they've got to be a little bit nervous now, you know. Like, okay, well, you know, 23 season, uh, excuse me, 2025, guys. 2024 draft uh, comes around. Caleb Williams is going to take him first of all. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, he says, okay, maybe I'll stay and I'll go to the 2025 draft now. Those guys are like, well, there goes my shot of making, you know, an extra $20 million uh, in my contract. So that that's probably interesting. But I think this as a whole, just the whole story, I like it because I hate that there's teams out there that do do this, that will try to tank, try to come out and get a guy that's, you know, a generational talent because they don't do the right things to develop them. They don't try to support them. I mean, heck, I think the biggest one in here we're talking about is Kyler Murray. He's the most uh, notable one because he currently plays for the Arizona Cardinals. What a great option to uh, use as your example here why Caleb Williams would not want to go to the Cardinals is because of what happened with Kyler Murray. The organization 
just top to bottom is a dumpster fire. You don't want to be a part of something like that. And it's really interesting because of the NIL, because of everything going on into college football nowadays, it gives the players a voice. It gives them a chance. They can say, hey, I see what's going on. I see what you're doing. Feel free to tank, but I at least have another year that I can go back to college. I'm getting paid a lot of money to be in college, play football as well. Doesn't matter to me. I'll come out next year. Now, of course, the Cardinals could tank again next year, but tanking two seasons in a row going to be kind of tough. A lot of people are going to lose their jobs. So, you know, that might not be the ideal situation. Very well could happen. But I like that guys like Caleb Williams now have some, you know, juice in their words. You have to listen to what they say because you could ruin your whole season for not just because of, you know, and you never know what happens the next season. Maybe you tank this year and say, okay, we're going to tank next year too. God forbid something happens to Caleb Williams and maybe he drops in the draft, injury, whatever, off-field issue, something like that doesn't exactly work out so I hope this deters teams like the Cardinals from doing what they're talking about doing and I'm glad that Caleb Williams now has a little bit of power back in his own hands this is one of the interesting things of NIL and this is one of the things that people some of those old heads in college football that weren't really thinking about it because a lot of people when they leave for the draft after their junior year they do it because they're turning if they don't they're turning down mil- or deferring I should say at least one year millions of dollars right a lot of people would leave for the draft because they say listen I can go to the NFL next year make five million three million one million whatever or I can sit in college football another year and, and just make meals of three meals a day that doesn't make any sense with NIL, with a player of Caleb Williams' stature, he is making, reportedly, right, don't really know, obviously, because he hasn't disclosed it, probably millions of dollars in NIL deals. I think his NIL evaluation right now is a little over $2 million. I honestly think he's probably worth more than that. So he's a guy right now who is not turning down millions of dollars if he stays for another season. He would just make $2 million at USC and have another chance to win a national title and potentially not ruin his career going to a dumpster fire organization. Works out well for Caleb Williams in that situation. You know who else works out really good for? USC, right? They get Williams for another year, another chance to win a national title, another chance to have a great season. People talk about NIL really hurting college football. And in some cases, there's been some negative side effects. But here is one opportunity where we get to see more great players like Caleb Williams potentially play longer at these programs. And from that perspective, as a fan of college football, you got to love it.